What's up, YouTube world? We're going to talk to you guys today about keeping it simple. Don't overcomplicate your life. There's a prayer in the Bible. It talks about the kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There's also another I think scripture that refers to the kingdom come or if you follow if you pursue the kingdom all things will be added unto you so if we did the father's will if we did God's will that we would be that we would be rewarded in a way by God in a simple way of just being, realizing it's not about us, realizing that all good things come from Him. When we realize that it's being, it's just being present, breaking down our ego, Letting our ego go, taking a sigh of relief that it's not all about us, someone else is in control. Once we realize our ego is the problem, that we don't have to overcomplicate things, that we don't have to have the fanciest tools to do yard work. Once we break it down, we will understand that we just need to keep it short and simple. Kiss, keep it short and simple, stupid. And uh, once we do that, once we admit to ourselves that we have gone too far to overcomplicate things, to make things complex, for no real reason but to try to impress other people. I got in the lawn care business at a 21 inch mower, a blower, uh, a weed whip. Everything was non commercial equipment. By the end of the year, I had. Several pieces of commercial mower equipment, um, low end uh, commercial grade equipment, blowers and uh, trimmers. By the end of the year, I made more money than I want to say the past, the previous three years, or, or at least the previous two years. So the last two years, after I was done with my first year in business, I made more money that year than I have. And it's incredible. If you let things go, if you pick up the phone and answer it, and you give them a fast, friendly quote, you realize it's not about you, it's about the customer. And God has given you these customers. And if you realize that if you keep it simple, the sales process, three simple steps, pick up the phone, find out what they need, tell them that you can help them out, and third, go do the job and ask for payment. Close it. How would you like to get started today? Okay. Would you like fries with that? That's, that's um, you know, doing an upsell. Once you upsell the customer, you realize that you can add value to the overall predetermined list of items on the menu into the customer's um, bill. You're adding value. That's how you make more money in a short amount of time. You add value. In the lawn care business, how do you add value? You add value by letting them know that you have 
more than just lawn care you got uh, turf ma management you got landscaping services you got snow plowing for winter you got yard aeration for uh, spring and uh, fall uh, you got overseeding for throughout the year um, keep it short and simple it doesn't have to overcomplicate things adding value is gonna drive your overall dollar up so how do you get bigger jobs you offer more value if the customer values that the lawn landscape job that you're willing to uh, do you're gonna construct it you're gonna redesign it you're gonna give them a beautiful landscape that increases the value of the house you will be able to close on larger projects you're, you're gonna do 10 20 fifty thousand dollar landscape jobs on uh, average homes to several million dollar houses um, throughout my career I've had the privilege of servicing different companies to do their yards I've done commercial I've done million dollar houses I've done properties as big as six acres I've quoted on uh, commercial apartment complexes of probably 300 units on a six acre, maybe seven acre property. Bid it on their snow plowing, bid it on their mulch, bid it on year round maintenance. It's important. To follow a simple formula in everything you do in life. You don't overcomplicate things. Life is meant to be lived and to just be here. And to simply do the will of the Father. And I think it's important to have a, a certain view of life that there is a Father God. There's a Lord Jesus Christ. There's myself, meaning the man, the head of the household. My wife and children follow. I think that's the structure of, um, of it. The orderly fashion was spoken in the Bible about it. And I think it's important that we follow that everything... When we follow the laws that are laid down in the Bible, we're going to get what we're looking for. It's very important to know that there are rules to be followed. You can call them natural laws. You can call them certain other laws. You can call them uh, how the rich live and and how they're successful the financial laws um, but it's important to realize that keeping it short and simple is a simple rule to follow if you like this uh, topic uh, like and subscribe share and uh, give the big thumbs up Check us out on Patreon and other social websites. And thanks again. Bye.